I was sitting on my couch and I was watching the Marines roll through Baghdad and I just I felt horrible I um, you know knew that I could sleep all day I could be as hot or as cold as I wanted to I could eat as much as I wanted to and basically um, I just I started getting this really guilty feeling next day I was in a recruiter's office and two weeks later I was in boot camp Scenes like these motivated Joshua Musser to enlist in the Marine Corps. He was sent to Iraq where he fought in the Battle of Fallujah, the bloodiest battle of the war. You're getting home, you're getting used to being home and everything, and then all of a sudden it kind of levels out, and then, you know, the nightmare started, and, you know, just couldn't handle stress and anxiety anymore. As a Marine, Joshua thought he would be able to control his feelings. For you to actually admit that I'm struggling and it's something that I can't control because to a Marine they can control everything. We adapt, we overcome and you know when you finally realize that hey I, I need help you know where before you never asked for help because you could always find a way to do it. Help came in the form of virtual reality exposure therapy. When Josh came in I think uh, he was very um, distant and less uh, willing and able really to talk about what happened to him. Under the helmet, as demonstrated here, Joshua experienced the sights, smells, vibrations, and sounds of war. A customized virtual scenario targeted specifically to treat his psychological trauma. People often try not to think about what happened to them. And what we found over time is that that's the worst thing that you can do when you experience a trauma. If you don't think about it and don't process it and deal with it, that's what eventually can cause PTSD and a chronic problem. It put you back in Iraq where you kind of have one foot here and one foot there. The only thing outside of Iraq that you hear is her voice. And so when she sees that I'm really starting to stress out because I would shake really bad and I would sweat, but she would be in my ear and be pulling me back. Joshua was also feeling withdrawn from his newborn son, which further motivated him to seek treatment. That was killing me, and so that's one of the main reasons why I went to get help, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do something as fast as possible, and that's why I chose virtual reality. Even though I knew that it was going to be tough and I knew it was going to be painful, I, I felt like it was going to help, and I hoped that it was going to help. Thank you. A slide? Three months after being treated, Joshua's doctors say his PTSD levels have significantly improved. I know that with my PTSD, I'm never going to get rid of it. It's never going to be gone. But now I feel like I'm on the way to controlling it and on the way to living with it and managing it. And I, I feel 100 times better than I have. Now I can play with him and he calls me daddy. And he kisses me. and. You know, he'll run up and hug me, and I can uh, enjoy every second I have with him. It's, it's a blast. Now I can harness all those emotions, and now I can feel things, and, and that's worth everything that I went through. T.J. Holmes, CNN, Atlanta.